Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. This is the place where women who are aging beautifully come to be inspired. My guest today is our good friend Ariane Poole. Ariane and I have been working together now for about five years on 60 and Me. The mm. community loves you because you have a very positive attitude about aging and makeup, and I just love your products. And I love your community. Yeah, and, and we it is it's a it's a symbiotic. Is that the right word? That's the word. Relationship. It's very fantastic. It's fantastic. So Ariane is a professional international makeup artist, and she's um, got some incredible products and is launching them on a new channel in the United States, Evine. And so we're here to just experiment with uh, with some products and and talk about some issues that we know women in, in our 60 ME community have asked about. So one of the things that you always are asking about is something that I have a passion for too, and that is eyebrows. Hmm. Now, Ariane's done this beautiful makeover on me, but we've left my eyebrows until, <laughs> until last here so that you can see the big difference that a, a product can make. Yeah. And we're going to talk about lots of different eyebrow products because exactly. one size does not fit all. Right. So if you're somebody that's been using a powder and you're not getting the results, check out like balms or yeah. uh, pencils or there, there's so many fabulous eyebrow products out there and I want to show you a few things. That would that be great. Let's, okay, let's so look. let's have a look. I'm going to show you different brands as well. So this is Stila. Okay. okay. This is a little felt tip pen. Oh, that's cute. This that's is really good. Cool. And so what you do with this, now I've got a blonde obviously because Margaret is blonde and I wouldn't want to use something that's too dark on her. So what I would do with this is I feather in the brows with this felt tip pen. So you're painting on your brows. It's a really great way of doing it. There are also eyebrow balms. Now again, you need to get the right color for your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Now, Margaret is blonde, so I don't wanna to go too dark or too heavy. Now, if you are darker hair, you also don't want to go too, too dark because you don't want your eyebrows to be so, something that yeah. takes over. So this is a brow balm. So let's look at some of these products. Okay, th there's lots of things. So this one here that I'm going to show you first is from Stila. It's a felt tip pen oh, that's cute. for your eyebrows. Now, of course, I'm using the blonde variety because Margaret is blonde. And what you do with this is you just feather that in and you're it's almost like a brow tattoo, but mm -hmm. it's not a tattoo because it does come off. So it's very light. It's very lightweight. Yeah. It is just a little bit. See, you can see that on mm -hmm. my hand. Yes. It's just a little bit of color. So great if you really have sparse brows mm -hmm. and you need really super precise yeah. uh, uh, application. So that's one. And I was going to say something about eyebrows too. I think it's that if you are worried about your eyebrows, because I mean, I think it's one of the areas where you lose the hairs and they yeah. go gray. And if, if it's something that you're self-conscious about, like I am, you you just over accentuate the negative yeah like it doesn't matter what products you use you know you yeah. find something that is not working but um but i think that the, the manufacturers now including you because you oh, have yeah. a great one yourself that i use it um, are really learning that that women need a little bit of a gentle approach to this absolutely you know a subtle it, approach it, not yeah, no, painting on big lines absolutely and you know that that big trend that's around now with those big big brows mm -hmm. is great for those younger faces sure. for us our faces are too delicate too fine we yeah. can't wear that it looks ridiculous on us. Yeah, so, so that's the Steeler one. Okay. Yeah, so and then this one is a brow balm. Like a lot of companies make this, and these brow bombs are again easy to use. So my technique for using a brow balm. So we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. This is so, a good brush. Yeah. So this is my this is my brush, but yeah. you can there's lots of no, brushes like that. So you, what you do is you brush your eyebrows down, and you use a little bit of the brow balm and you etch along the top. Now this is a really key point, Margaret, is if they don't etch along the top and they only do underneath, what they can do is they can make their eyes look smaller. Then you brush up mm -hmm. and then you can add underneath then to give that a little bit more fullness. Mm -hmm. And you see how that just fills in the brows. But again, mm -hmm. suitable for your oh, yeah, eye that's color, that's your, yeah. sorry, not your eye color, your hair color. Mm -hmm. It has to be, a lighter one so it's not too heavy. Um, and then you actually managed to pull that up a little bit too, which is, yes, which is nice because yes. that makes your eyes wider, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a great technique, but married with the product. Like I say, there's lots of these kind of products. Now this I is like that. this nice. is a, a brown uh, powder with a balm here, uh -huh. it's like a wax. And this one here, you can mix a match with, you know, you can mix that up. Same thing, this one's a little bit too dark, so I won't be applying this one to you, Margaret, because otherwise yeah. it will be too heavy. That's the other thing. If you're darker hair, you want to match something to your hair, but you do not want to make it too dark. Because mm -hmm. if it's too dark, mm -hmm. all you see is the brows. You don't see your beautiful eyes. You don't see right. your face. You don't see anything else. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of these kind of ones around that you can see. That's a nice color. That's, that's more of a 
That's closer to your kind of cut. <laughs> and again, with a clear brow bomb. So would you, do you make those together? Yeah, I would put on the, the powder first and, and then, then go the over. Okay. Or you can do it the other way around, depending on how what kind of depth you want. Okay. Then we've got the classic ones, that the pencils. So we've got those kind of pencils that we can etch our brows with. I like these ones that have the little brush on the end because then That's you can handy. brush mm -hmm. them down mm -hmm. and then feather them in. So mm -hmm. the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I the thing that is really popular at the moment, especially for those of us who have gray or white brows, mm -hmm. are the mm -hmm. brow mascaras. And this is one of my ones. And again, I love this product. I actually use this. And this is the one that you're selling this on eBay, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, well, you'll right. see. I love this. And one. what's nice about so this easy. is if you're somebody who has got a lot of gray or white brows and you want to get that them to covered but you don't want a heavy brow, mm -hmm. this is a terrific way of using it. Now, I love using it straight like that. It's su super easy. If you are somebody that has got a little bit more time and wants to be super precise and wants to really maybe do a little bit more, you can do the same technique as brushing it down, then taking a little bit off the there and mm, mm. lifting the brow. So this has got multiple uses and you can even use the kind of brown mascaras over top of your pencil and things. Like I say, yeah. super easy, super uh, effective, and don't bring the brows too far down because you don't want to make them make your eyes look like they're droopy. Yeah, brows. I, I, yeah. I actually like them both. I mean, this one's a little bit fuller, and you've managed to lift it up a little bit. Yeah. I think you could do that same technique with this one you can. because you have the brush. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. You, can, you can do all of those kind of techniques. Let me do that a little bit more. Here. Like the reason I love that brow mascara is it's so easy to apply. Yeah, you can. I mean, if you have any challenges with you know with your hands stiffness or whatever, yeah. which I, actually that is a big issue for a lot of women oh, as you get older. I don't mean, I know? I can't, I'm struggling to open jars. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm, I'm, ser no, I'm really serious. Uh, things that I thought were really easy to use with my hands suddenly are becoming much more difficult. So, Any, Anyway, well, yeah. you showed us, I think, five yeah. really good products there. Yeah. If you've got any questions for Ariane, please, please leave them in the section below. She she reads all our comments and loves to talk with our 60 and Me yeah. community. And um, I'm really excited that you're going to be able to show these products to a wider yeah. audience. I mean, a lot of our women in this community live in the United yeah. States. So check out Evine. When's your launch? It's in... I'm on, on the 19th of March and hopefully coming back loads of times after that. Yeah, so check it out. We'll put a little note in the 16 Me, but I want you to be successful because I love your products and I love your commitment to 60 and Me. And we will still be talking Seriously. about other things as well. So well, we've not talked about that, that yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, again, questions ask Ariane. Thank you so much. Hope it's helped you with your uh, challenging eyebrows. My little twin sisters are not twins, but they're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ariane. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye, Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Our Patreon supporters help us to make a bigger difference in the lives of women over 60 all around the world. They get exclusive videos, live video shows, discounts, and much more. So please look for the link on this page. It is somewhere down here, up there. <laughs> And join our tribe of women in our 60 and Me community who are actually making a big difference in the world, challenging aging stereotypes. So thank you so much for your support. <laughs>